everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Project Accounting. So our topic for today is all about the accounting equation and the elements of financial statements. So for this episode, you will be able to understand the elements of the accounting equation, use the accounting equation to solve problems, identify the account as assets, liabilities, capital, income or expenses, and cite examples of each type of account. The accounting equation, assets is equal to liabilities plus equity. Yan ang dapat nating tandaan sa accounting. Dapat sa lahat ng transaction, balance ang A is equal to L plus E. So ano ba yung assets? Asset is a present economic resource controlled by the entity as a result of past events. In other words, assets are the resources owned by the business or yung pagmamayari nila. Ano naman ang liabilities? Liabilities are the present obligation of the entity to transfer an economic resource as a result of past events. In other words, ito yung mga utang ni business. So ano naman yung equity or capital? Equity is the residual interest in the assets of the entity after deducting all its liabilities. So ito yung mga natira after bayaran yung mga utang ni business. Sa sole proprietorship, Equity consists of owner's capital, so heto yung investment ni owner. Owner's drawing or withdrawal, heto naman yung mga kinuha ni owner from business for personal use at income or loss during the period. Yang tatlo yung makikita natin sa statement of financial position or balance sheet. Ano ano ba ang mga examples ng assets? First is cash. Cash is any medium of exchange that bank will accept at face value. So it includes coins and currencies, checks, money orders, and fixed deposits. Next naman is yung accounts receivable. These are claims against debtors or customers arising from services rendered on account and sale of merchandise on account. Next is yung notes receivable. So gaya ng accounts receivable, these are claims against debtors or customers, kaso supported ito ng promissory note. Next is merchandise inventory. These are goods on hand and are available for sale. Dito usually yung mga binibenta natin na goods sa client. So next naman is yung office supplies or store supplies. These are supplies being used by business. For example, is yung ball pen at paper clip. So, ang kinaibahan ng supplies sa merchandise inventory ay yung supplies ginagamit natin sa business while yung inventory, yun yung usual na binibenta natin sa customers. So, next naman is yung prepaid expense. Prepaid expense are expenses paid by business in advance. In other words, heto yung mga expense na binayaran ahead of time. Example ay prepaid rent or yung renta na binayaran in advance at prepaid insurance which is yung insurance na binayaran in advance. So, next naman is yung land, which is yung pagmamayari na lupain. Then, building. Ito yung mga building na pinatayo. Then, office or store equipment, which includes computer, aircon, electric fans, freezers, etc. And also, furnitures and fixtures, which includes office tables, chairs, filing cabinets, etc. Meron ding copyright which is an exclusive right or protection granted to author for literary or musical or artistic work. So, ito usually yung ikaw ang may-ari na sinulat mong libro. So, next naman is yung patent. Patent are exclusive legal right granted by government for invention to enable its holder to manufacture, sell, and control item or process. Ito naman yung kapag ikaw yung nakagawa ng kahit anong invention. Next is yung trademarks. Trademarks are words, names, symbols, or other devices used in trade to indicate source of product and to distinguish it from products of others. Ito naman yung mga brand name ng products. So next naman is yung computer hardware. Ito yung mga monitor, CPU, etc. And also computer software, which is used for digitally stored data and other kinds of information read and written by computers. So lastly is yung investments. Pwedeng short-term or yung intended to be sold immediately or investment na long-term para kumita pa ng income. So, ang assets pwedeng maging current or non-current at tangible or intangibles. Current ang asset kapag it can be realized, ibig sabihin collected, sold, or used up one year after year and date. 
Examples ay cash, accounts receivable, inventory, at prepaid expense. Non-current naman kapag more than one year. Examples ay PPE or property plant and equipment, intangibles, and long-term investments. Tangible naman ang asset kapag nahawakan. Examples ay building, equipment, furniture and fixtures. Intangible naman ang asset kapag no physical substance, gaya ng copyright, patent, at trademarks. So, ano-ano naman ang mga examples ng liabilities? First is accounts payable. Accounts payable are amounts due to creditors for assets acquired on account. Next naman is yung notes payable. Notes payable are amounts due to creditors evidenced by written promise to pay. Next is mortgage payable. These are long-term debts secured by collateral. So next naman is yung salaries payable, which is the unpaid salaries of employees at the end of the accounting period. Next is interest payable or the interest due on borrowed funds. And utilities payable, which is the unpaid electric and water bills. So hetong salaries, interest as utilities payable, ay nagpo-fall under accrued expenses or the expenses na na-incur pero hindi pa bayad. And lastly is yung unearned revenue or yung revenue na kinolekta mo ng advance kaya hindi mo pa kinikita kaya unearned. So gaya sa asset, ang liabilities na hati sa dalawa, either current or non-current. Current ang liabilities kapag pwedeng bayaran within one year. Example ay accounts payable, salaries payable, interest payable, utilities payable, at unearned revenue. Non-current naman ang liabilities kapag more than one year. Example ay loans payable at mortgage payable. So meron pang dalawang element ng financial statement, which is yung revenue or income pati expense na makikita naman natin sa statement of comprehensive income or income statement. So ano ba yung revenue or income? Income is the increase in assets or decrease in liabilities that result in increase in equity other than those relating to contributions from holders of equity claims. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung mga kinita sa business. Example ay sales, service revenue, professional fees, rent income, interest income, fees earned, subscription revenue, and commission earned. So, ano naman yung expenses? Expenses are the decrease in assets or increase in liabilities that result in decrease in equity other than those relating to distributions to holders of equity claims. So, ito naman yung mga ginasta sa business. Example ay salaries and wages expense, taxes and licenses expense, rent expense, advertising, insurance expense, depreciation expense, etc. So, kapag binawas natin yung kinita sa ginastos, makukuha natin is net income. So, kapag mas malaki naman yung expense kaysa sa income, ang makukuha naman natin ay net loss. So, itong net income or net loss ay idadagdag or ibabawas natin sa equity. So, we have here some problem solving that I would like you to solve to apply the accounting equation. So, in problem solving 5-1, let's answer the following questions by applying the accounting equation. Number one. The assets of a company amount to 1 million and the owner's capital is 250,000. What is the amount of liabilities? Number two, the liabilities and owner's equity of B company amounts to 6 million and 3 million respectively. How much is the company's assets? Number three, C company has owner's equity of 8,950,000 and the total assets of 11,690,000. How much is the creditor's equity? Number four, the liabilities of the company are equal to one third of the total assets. The owner's equity is 2.4 million. What is the amount of liabilities? Number five, at the beginning of the year, a company's assets amounts to 11 million and owner's equity amounts to 6 million. During the year, assets increased by 3 million while liabilities decreased by 400,000. How much is the owner's equity at the end of the year? And lastly, number six, at the beginning of the year, F company has total assets of 4.51 million and the total liabilities of 860,000. During the year, assets decreased by 300,000 while liabilities increased by 650,000. 
how much is the owner's equity as at December 31, 2020? For problem solving 5-2, the financial statement information about four different companies are as follows. So determine the missing amounts. In our next video next week, we will show you how to solve these problems. So if you like this video or if this video helped you, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more episodes. Thank you!